So here at Tanbury, we have around 30 um, migrant workers from Thailand and Jamaica. Uh, we use uh, multiple contracts uh, every year to allow us to have um, team members on site um, 12 months of the year, as we do produce uh, 12 months of the year. Um, it was a big step of faith uh, for our team members last year when we purchased this farm. It was a 15 acre pepper farm. Uh, and we had the big dream of gutting it and changing it all to strawberries. Um, there was some really hard work we all had to do uh, to remove the old crop, remove the old infrastructure and to update it. And uh, our friends, especially the Jamaicans then, they were here with us the whole time, taking out old gutters, putting new stuff in. Um, and as over the couple months it took, we could see the dream kind of come to fruition uh, and we we're planting our strawberries. Um, they're a massive part. Without them, we would not even have a chance to do what we're doing today. And even now that the, the crazy work of a renovation is over, um, our offshore workers are able to come every day and help us harvest, plant, prune, pack uh, these strawberries uh, to go out the door. It's a family that also gets used lately, but it truly is a family here um, with 30, 30 members that all help us get to the common goal with our best interest in mind. Grew up in a greenhouse, always, always working on the weekends after school, and the employees or the, the guys you work along with, they quickly became like your friends, your buddies, right? Um, some of them came to my wedding. Um, you see them at church on Sunday. You see them at, at my Oma's funeral at, at, at her bedside. Honestly, it's, um, it's, it's crazy to look back at, um, yeah, they're not just employees at the farm. Like they're part of, they're intertwined with their whole lives the last 10, 15 years. Um, they're most of my friends, like all my friends are from Jamaica or from Thailand. I, I live in a glass box. I don't have much of a life out, outside of this. So it really is a blessing to be able to work with such great people every day. Um, that we can, we can share our lives with. Um, without the, the migrant worker programs that we have in place right now, uh, it would be impossible for the agriculture that you see around uh, to, to work. Any high input crop, uh, veggies, fruits, um, we, we, need, we need these people. We, we need hands to do the work. And um, there just isn't enough people locally able to do that work. Um, and the seasonality of it is difficult too. Um, the ability that these guys have, they can come for eight months, four months, six months, whatever the, the term is, and um, they can work for those months and take that back home and live on it. Where in Canada, that might not, that might not be possible. Um, so if you see these guys around, if you see them at the store, if you see them on the bus playing soccer, be respectful of them. They, they really give their lives to be here. Um, we don't deserve to have them here with us all the time and uh, they mean the world to us.